thank you so much for staying with me in this tutorial i will show you how we are going to resolve heteroscedasticity using white robot standard errors if you are just joining us kindly make sure you have watched um the previous videos on how to understand heteroscedasticity how you can detect the problem and how you can resolve the problem using either the functional forms or the weighted or generalized least quest approaches this tutorial i will just quickly show you how using the wise robot standard errors removes the problem of heteroscedasticity so if you are ready please load your data and let's get started but if you are interested in using my data and the do file for the entire heteroscedasticity tutorial kindly follow the instruction as shown on the screen so here's the data editor and the variables we'll be using for this analysis. We will first execute a level level model, then afterwards the log transformations of the model. So this is the do file where I've written out all the codes to be executed. Please remember that in Stata, the moment you invoke the robust option or the VCE robust option, you cannot use the eStart etest command because once the robust option has been included, that your model is already corrected for heteroscedasticity. So the eStart ETS command will not work. So including just the robust or the VCE robust will correct for heteroscedasticity. So let's highlight all these four different model specifications and execute. So on the screen, we have the outcome of our analysis. So let me walk you through what we have just done. Please, I won't be interpreting any of these results because that is not the focus of this tutorial. It's just to show you how you can correct for heteroscedasticity. In the first model, this is a log-log formation. And from the output table, if you look at the standard error heading here, it's just standard error. So this model, this entire model is not corrected for heteroscedasticity. So let's look at the second one where we have the VCE robust. The moment you use the VCE robust, you have corrected your model for heteroscedasticity. And if you look at this place, you now have robust standard errors. So using the VCE command shows that your standard errors have now been corrected for heteroscedasticity. Another thing you will observe is that the coefficients are the same, but the standard errors have changed. In some instances, the standard errors have been reduced, and in some instances, the standard errors have increased. But one thing you will notice is that the coefficients of the regression remain the same, but the standard errors have been corrected. Remember when the model is heteroscedastic, the standard errors are often underestimated. So by invoking the robust option, you correct the standard errors. The same thing here, when you are using the robust and not VCE robust, you still have the same thing. So if you go back, if you compare the results, when you used the VCE robust and just robust option, the results are exactly the same. So either you use VCE robust or robust, you are getting the same results in Stata. And this one shows that you have corrected this analysis for heteroscedasticity. Ditto for the functional forms of the models. This is a log level formation without correcting for heteroscedasticity. So you can see here, it's just ordinary standard errors. So the moment I invoked the VCE robust option, you can see here robust standard errors now, not just ordinary standard error as seen up here. But you also see that the coefficients are the same, but the standard errors have changed. So it's going to be the same explanation for every other formation in the model. So your robust option or your VCE robust option, remember, you are getting the same results. So it doesn't matter which one you use. You can use any. Your results will be exactly the same. And even when you don't correct for heteroscedasticity, remember you are going to have the same coefficients but your standard errors will not be the same. So in this case, I have a log level log formation. So without correcting for heteroscedasticity, you can see it here. 
So after correcting for Jerry Skinner Steel City, I have my robust in the title for the standard error. And you can see, like I said earlier, coefficients are the same. So same thing for the log log model. No difference in my explanation. So whether you use a VCE robust option or just the robust option, your coefficients will be exactly the same. Your standard errors will be exactly the same. In fact, your results will be exactly the same. To emphasize what I just said, the learning has come in this tutorial. Either the robust or the VCE robust options will correct for Terrascada Stucity in Stata. For more reading and references regarding using white robust standard errors, I will encourage you to pick any of these textbooks for more understanding. Thank you. We have now covered just a little bit about Eteroscale Elasticity. For as many of you are able to follow this tutorial, I'm sure you must have learned quite a lot about how Eteroscale Elasticity comes about, how you can detect it, and how you can correct it. Please share this video with your friends and with your loved ones. Thank you so much for watching, for staying with me throughout this tutorial series. I will encourage as many of you who are yet to subscribe, please subscribe to my channel. I am committed and dedicated to teach beginners and intermediate level users. Please don't go away. I'll be right back with more interesting videos.